or if they're trying to find some technique, those with the power, those who do not want to lose the power, who now know that they could lose it at this very moment as people start revolting more than they ever have done. People start to reason, people's intelligence has come to such a, a fact that their individuality is now greater than it has ever been, that we have so much more power, that we start to look at what we're doing and we start to question it a lot more than we ever have done. And we bring down these governments, maybe now they realize that this time is coming soon where they will not have this power for long. And so they must hold it. They must find a way to subdue us, to make us feel the way they want us to feel. Is that what this is all about? Am I just a guinea pig so that they can work out what kind of brainwaves, what kind of patterns they need to transmit to every mind, every receptive mind that they want to follow this way, to be this way? And then what of mankind then when we follow their patterns? What of mankind then? Would it be any different than what we already know? Why? Why do they make me so lonely? So terribly lonely? If I have control of this illusionary world, this existence as much as them, why do I make myself lonely? How many times have I looked outside that window as if I'm in a prison or paced around like a, a, a caged lion and saw someone and hoped, hoped that they could have some kind of love for me, but what kind of a stupid reaction is that to have? Do I deny myself or do they deny me? Why am I kept so lonely, so painfully lonely? Of course, and that's another thing as well, the pain I feel. I've described the pain I feel when I feel such sadness, such sorrow, and no one has ever told me that they felt it the same. Why is that? Is it because of the amount of blood that it's needed for my mind to keep this imaginary world alive? My very fingertips. When I feel such pain, when I think of how sad I am and lonely, when I think of myself without love, without friends even, I feel in the very fingertips such a strong pain like acid, I can't even describe it. Like an electric shocky almost, but it's more like acid running through it and a pain to the top of my chest. What is that? Or are they creating that sensation for some reason? Or is it some byproduct of what they're doing to me? But nevertheless, why am I kept so lonely when I have all the attributes that they say are needed for any man? To find love, a kind, gentle, warm heart, romantic, or dedicate everything to find that love and yet all he is allowed to do is watch other lovers walking together hand in hand and is made to cry, cry like a baby at what he can never have, what he can never even hope to hold and yet what he dreams of so much, what he could give so much for, that his heart needs that love and needs to give that love and yet he is denied that the ultimate suffering the ultimate pain is this what they're trying to trying to understand so that they can make every man every woman suffer this ultimate pain imagine imagine being so romantic so loving needing love so much needing to give love so much being able to dedicate yourself to one person and not even being able to hold it to spend hours, days, months, weeks, years, decades just dreaming, just dreaming away just dreaming of what it would be like to be held for someone to come up behind me right now slip their arms through my arms and hold me and hold my chest tight and whisper into my ears loving words how it would feel And yet, 
あのハウフェハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ I have often dreamt of different women. I, wherever I go on the bus or at work, each different woman I fall in love with. Because the first one goes and nothing happens, and then I move on to the next person that comes into the bus or the next person I see, always looking for a chance of love. Imagine how lonely that is to be denied how many times a day without even opening your mouth. Always hoping for a generous look back. But as much as I look and make myself known to them, I'm denied. I'm never given a look, not even a look. So will I die lonely? Well, I die not knowing what love was about, even though I have such a capacity of love, such a need to give it. I would do anything. Like, I remember with the South African, every month I would send her flowers, write her poems, send her messages for a woman I never even met who didn't even exist. And All that, that I would do for one woman, if I could only have her to hold me. But maybe this woman doesn't even exist. Because all the woman, women that I ever fall in love with, is it because they're actually the woman I want to spend my rest of my life with, or is it just because I have that desire and I need, because it's been so long to quench my thirst of that desire? And this is why I think that this world doesn't exist. Part of the reason, because you see so many men, so many men who do not have the favors that I have, who are cruel or unkind and unloving, and yet they have by their hand clenched tightly a fine woman who would love them to the end of their days and wouldn't even think about going towards me. How does that make sense then? What is then the point of me having these great virtues if they do me no favor? Will I die always looking back at something I never had, something I always wanted more than anyone else? For if you ask me what I want, I will not say a million pounds. I will not say a yacht or a holiday. I will just say one fair maiden who will love me truly and want me. <laughs> Is that so much to ask? And if I do indeed have control of this life, then why do I deny it myself? Or maybe it's because I don't have the social graces, or I don't go to the right places, or I can't be as brass as other men who just go up to a woman and will ask them out. Because I think that I shouldn't be doing that, or that I'm not worth their hand. And so, what is it that denies me? Is it them up there? 